And okay, we're back. Hello, YouTube. Let's get just jump right back into it. Whoa, why was I looking at the ceiling? Why anything? More wood! <laughs> okay, we're switching equipment. Now that I have the axe, I'm switching to the axe. Fuck yeah. Why is meat three? Oh, because I, I use meat. Okay. I'm probably going to put the... I don't know. Tools are tools. Do I need an extra bottle or beer or something? Why is... What is that icon supposed to be? Let's try and grab some beer. I think I have some beer. Oh, even better. Let's take a look at uh, that's copper tubing. Take a look at this guy's truck. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic. But he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. All right. It's just headed towards the cave. Well, this worked for a way of warming up, but we're, we're now at this interesting point in the game where I've been to pretty much all the places, right? I've been to pretty much all the places, and... Well, no, I haven't been to the old Roser, but then it turns into this weird sort of game of what did I miss like I know we need a magnet of some sort and we need handlebars and some kind of thing so I guess I'll go to old Rosier I need clothes that's right I need clothes Actually, if I switch to my journal, there should be something about that wall. With the hunt. I think I'm supposed to take pictures of all the arrows. Interesting. Further north. I need a warm coat. Guns and ammunition. Can't be too careful. Proper mode of transportation. Vital. Find out how to get rid of the big wall of ice, miner. <laughs> so, in his mail, we need to get a spark plug. We need to go to the general store for that. We got that. We need a gas can, which I think is also in the general store. It's too hairy for a bikini. No, oh, I'm not. Those aren't jeans. That's my natural fur color. Alright, let's finish up with the old rosier and then head to uh, the general store and let's steal this guy's mail. Beep beep. Vroom vroom. Oh yeah, if it hasn't been released yet on YouTube, I plan on redoing the uh, first episode because it didn't have sound before. But by God, I'm going to put sound in it now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I? Did I... Did I pass? Did I pass it? I don't know why my car is just moving on down the road there. Okay, it's further up ahead. Yeah, makes me feel like a man. Woo! Turn.
turning corners! Ow. Okay, that hurt my mind for some reason. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, hey. We have lights on. Yo. Did, could it be that someone still lives here? a bit to explore here, including a tiny house. You know, I live in a tiny house. Do I have, uh, do I have logs? No. Let's grab one. And then, apparently, I need to get rid of some stuff, but... Bye! Whoa, my banana. Um... Well, for one thing, I'm getting shot at, you son of a bitch! I'm pretty sure you got me! Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange leur tombe de disparaître ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt, et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What the hell is wrong with you? This is my weapon. What's happening around here? What? No, literally, what is happening? Who? You're old Rosier, right? Si tu veux du linge chaud, parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, dirais-moi non une bonne bouteille de caribou. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Is this a trade? Is that what I'm doing here? Can I take this bottle? Okay, you're not shooting me. Good. I'll need it. What, uh... <laughs> Actually, I agree with that. This is just what I do in houses. You, you won't mind if I just sort of root around your place. Yeah. Also, I'm really glad that you have a fire going up there. I think that's very useful. I think it's, it's good for you to be nice and warm. C'est vrai, le jeune, que tu te promènes quasiment en bobette. Yeah, well. Une bonne police, ça te fera pas de tort. Mais je vais te dire une chose. Dans ton coin de pays comme Paris, on n'a rien sans rien. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Damn, man. What is... What's this key to? Cadeau, ça ouvre la panty. Prends là, je m'en fous. Perds ton temps dans mes déchets tant que tu rapportes du caribou. <laughs> well, you, at least you got your stuff straight. The bikini is a kind of underwear. Do you mind if I just rifle through your diary? Vois-tu le livre, là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour I'm... se manger de sa grosse peine. Yeah. I've heard of the Wendigo, of course. I'm in fucking Oklahoma. Of course I've heard of the Wendigo. All right, anyway. Uh, there was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who, take, who had taken our children. Tu marres, tu marres, tu sens des pieds. <laughs> Our warriors could snap the necks of cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate, and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus, thus was balance maintained. Then came the whites. Legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest tree can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations when the ships came and spewed men and their fi fire cannons. 
plagues and spinelessness. Oye, oye, oye. Il y a un chico de quartier dans ma maison. I'm reading here. Do you mind? Balance broke forever. The dead were piling up in our ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss. Too much blood spilled on our stone. Our bone-breaking hate did not suff suffice any longer. Ouais, que t'as pas mieux à faire. I got nothing better to fucking do. Do you mind? I'm reading the story of the Wendigo. Alright, speed it up. One day, a young warrior who was lost every everything, niece's brother's parents and hope, fell to his knees in the middle of a small clearing covered in the blood of his fiance, killed after having crossed the path of some whites passing by. He had seen... I look like I'm wearing out your floor and holding... He had seen everything and called out to the great spirit, called out to him with words that came so naturally to him, words that could only create the great rivers of bloods and guts and terrifying roars of screams. He called out to him for a force that no one had before. He became Wendigo. The whites were decimated under the icy claws of... The icy claws of the Wendigo... The great tide of blood even pushed a few ships back out to sea, but the Wendigo was not yet done with his vengeance, for as long as the heart of the cards and one of his fiancées murder still beat, wait, she's dead though, he would prevail. The elders say that it was the force of ancestors returned to nature that turned this young warrior, or, yeah, turned the young warrior, in this clearing where many ancestors had been buried in centuries long past, the clearing now covered in blood spilled unjustly in the time where too many bodies were being buried. The ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. Only in remarkable times like this could the Wendigo have been born. His vision satiated, the warrior became the Wendy Wendigo, went west uh, went to rest forever. His frozen heart melted and disappeared much like real snow come the spring. God, it's hard to concentrate with this guy. The storm that had fallen, the Cree lands faded as well. There was much celebration. Balance had been restored, but whites came back too. White hatred is never satisfied by rock and bone turned to dust. They arrived by the hundreds, armed with guns and torches, burned down every village, raped every woman, then burned down every woman and raped every village, smashed the head of every newborn and tortured every man that fell into their grip. Never before had unbalance been so deep for the Cree peoples, and ever since it had been told that one should be satisfied with the rivers of bl blood brought by hatred despite the wrongfulness done to them because remarkable hate comes f at far too steep a price. The Wendigo was never invoked again, but it's in the heart of the cards and the Cree people it remained a fear that one day a young warrior would once again be called out with remarkable hate because they know through the wisdom brought by this legend that the Wendigo would prevail but this victory would come at a great cost the whites would come back the whites would rule none would be spared great story bro you really know how to ruin my story time Gomme la belle rose naturelle qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des cendres. Si tu peux effrayer cette histoire là. Huh. You. Ben oui, une course. Tu peux tu te faire en même temps toi. <laughs> Good god. Nice, uh, and nothing in there. What is it? Fruit? Eh. Hey, la Corivo, Batef, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. A tué tous ces maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Huh. I'm gonna assume that's the story you're reading or legend thereof. Taking your matches. Get him booze and he will sleep. Yeah, I might have to. 
there's nothing underneath this cabinet. That's a sore waste of, uh, you know what, something. All right, let me go get your, your caribou. Oh. Mon beau bonnet du beau temps. Puis ma ceinture, où je glissais mon flasque. Le monde tournait plus con quand on s'habillait tout de même. Hmm. Please don't shoot me next time I come. So, that guy's crazy. Let's see what's in his crazy shack. And his crazy trash. Freaking Canadians, man. Ow. I think it fell out of my foot or something. I haven't even noticed what I picked up. What was that? Making sure there's nothing behind here. Okay. He said, take it. He doesn't need it anyway. Gas can. That could be useful. It was fire starter. Thank you, month. Let's deliver the gas can. We don't need the log anymore. We don't really need hardware just yet. And, um, keep those water bottles for now. Do I really need this many painkillers? Let's drop it down to, like, five. Uh, beer. We need beer. Flares. Let's drop the flares and the gun. I haven't needed those yet. And cigarettes stay with me. Hammer and pliers, but I'm keeping the hatchet. That thing's awesome. Okay. What else can we steal from this guy? Do you have a magnet? Nope. Bullets. Might come in handy later. Hardware. Don't know what the hardware is for yet. I got another lantern. I'm sure that'll be handy later on. And that's it. So, cool. Cool story, bro. Alright. I noticed he's also got some stuff that's kind of leading over here. What is this? Is this just an um, overlook? Yeah, this is just an overlook. I mean, it's, it's cool. Okay, we need to create caribou. Which, I think we might need some gasoline or something. Still a log. And, uh... Go back to that still. What it what weighs so much? Beer bottles. Well, oh, how? Get rid of the water. We're keeping the beer. Are you mad? You need some alcohol before you can make caribou. Well, I have beer. And I have empty bottles. I don't think, I don't think you make caribou from empty bottles. Maybe I need to fill an empty bottle with gasoline and make caribou from that. Check the recipe. All, all right, all right. Uh, I can't? Are you bloody kidding me? Oh my... Alright, documents. Caribou recipe. Alright, let me see. White whiskey. Too much isn't a valid quality. Sherry wine added for mellowness. We're going back to the general store.
unfortunately, this the road system is not complicated enough to be a problem. Whiskey comes, I think, in the actual still, but I still need some sherry. And is sherry a wine? See, here's the thing. I'm, I'm dry now. I don't drink alcohol. But I kind of am sad I never got any sherry, because I'm told that sherry is really good. Like, really good sherry is really good. So, I don't know. Maybe when I'm, like, mentally healthier... I might go back to uh, alcohol for taste's sake, not for for drunk sake. But let's get out of here. You know, when I'm not having my own mental breakdowns, drowning in my own house, I'm a fucking bitch. Um, you're you're just, you're just it's clipping. Hey, William. I'm here for some sherry. Not in the mood to drink maple syrup. What kind of Canadian are you? Gives awful hangovers? Mm. Mysterious unbranded cans. Here's some Kona Cola. Per Jasmine. I don't think that's the way it was meant to be. I don't think it was the way... Oh! Oh! General also serves as a post office. Um, what is his name? What What number was he? Oh my god. Oh my god, what number was he? I don't remember. <laughs> Shit. Um, no thanks, I prefer my beer cold. It's freezing outside. I thought I'd find some sherry in here. I guess not. Okay, um, so I have questions. P pardon me, William. Uh, place is a mess. I was hoping to find some sherry and spark plugs here. Wait a second. Didn't I already steal? Yeah, I already stole a spark plug, so I've already done this shit. Check, check, check. Oh my. Um, what we're actually missing... I think we're actually missing... I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, Shack Cabin, Cabin General Store, Lanchette Cave. Why is that cave closed off? Bandard, Roy, Secret Project, Lamoth, Blown, Ice Cave. Rosier. Hmm. Okay. I was afraid of this. We're now at this point in the game where what I need. Uh, I can't walk over William. What I need, um, I don't know how to get a hold of. Actually, now that I think about it, I've got a lot of stuff in the back of my truck. Do I have? any sherry in the back of my truck? Let's see what we got here. Pliers, ammo, water bottle, revolver, pincer, lantern, log, hardware, duct tape, empty gas can. I got a thing I can do with the empty gas can. Painkillers, flares, flare gun, and a hammer. Still got a lantern. Fire starter, some meat for wolves, some delicious beer, which I might have some. 
some 303 ammo, hardware. Damn it, how does the hardware keep showing up? So I don't have liquor, but I'll tell you what. What I do have is gumption and a gasoline can. So... Easy now. There we go. So there is a place to fill up gasoline. I know that I like could have filled up the gasoline at the actual gas pump at the gas station, but for some reason it didn't allow me to interact with it past filling up my car with gas. I don't know, maybe it ran out of gas when I filled up the car. But there is another gas uh, pump over at uh, Lamoth's place. So the guy had a still to make whiskey. I thought the guy with the still could make whiskey. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he can make whiskey. Um. I am going to try and mix gasoline and whiskey and see if that's what it wants me to do. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably a bad idea. Whoa! Whoa! That's a... that's a turn! Ah, that's a tree! Okay. We're good now. We're good. Everything's good. Everything's fine here. Nothing's wrong forever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, let's check this out. Are you ewing at gasoline in alcohol? Because, like, I don't blame you. Hey, more wood. I mean, nobody's gonna use it, so... Might as well, you know? I mean, we're here. We're, we're queer. Might as well get the uh, wood. I was hoping to pick up that shovel. I guess I don't, don't need to do any digging. There we go. All right. Uh, victory cigarette. There we go. Just flick it at that uh, thing right there. Is there anything else going on around here? What's this? Another empty bottle. I heard some dogs took that. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's scary. I don't like it. We're going. We're going from the... I don't like it. <sighs> hey ya, Let's go. Hata. It's a beautiful wilderness outside. Yarp. Whoops. Steal that spark plug from this guy's mailbox? I can't remember. I did, didn't I? Okay. We got plenty of wood. Uh, what we need, wrong one, is the gas can. And 
yeah, that's all I can think of right now. I don't know what that hardware is for. It might just be junk. Like, I'll never need it. Let's go ahead and warm up first. Okay. Get some warmth going on here. And we might grab some equipment from the truck to see if we can fix what we can on the ski mobile. Uh, I just realized that there's a frozen fire up on top of that hill. No, no, no. Uh, withdraw. I need pliers. Probably the hammer. Um... Not the pincers. Okay. We're good. Alright, in the back of this guy's place is where all the fun is. Okay. We go. We got a can full of gas. I have the skis! Donna? I thought I did. Um. Where does the spark plug go? I thought it went to there, I guess not. And I'm serious, I thought I did have the skis on me. Did I leave them somewhere? Also, what is that supposed to be? Treads? Am I supposed to grab treads? I have, I have questions. That's really weird. I could have sworn I had the skis with me. Uh, okay. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. I don't suppose just one set of skis will work, right? Oh, it will. Hey, there we go. I'm a genius. So now I need the handlebars and treads. Isn't this fun, folks? Hide and seek. That's what makes a good game, damn it. Pixel hunting. That's what people like to do. Green milk. The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek, was out of the ordinary to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. Is this an Easter egg? This feels like an Easter egg. Uh, were there bottles in there with the skis? Yeah, but they were beer bottles. Ooh, handlebars. Don't mind if I do. Uh, steel traps not to be touched. What is this? Orange juice? Oh, that's right. He sleeps in the garage. We've been through this place before. I'm just reminding myself, really. Also, I get the feeling like I saw the handlebars before, but I didn't take them. Still no sign of a magnet. Hey, Lamoth. How you doing? There we go. It's looking better all the time. Now I just need treads. And... Do, do I have... 
the spark plug on me? Yes, I do. But for whatever reason... Treads. I have no idea where treads would be. What would I use treads for if I use treads? Was that a frozen guy in the garage? Yeah, don't you keep your frozen guy in the garage? You're just gonna have to check out one of the previous episodes month. It's too complicated. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why there's frozen fire everywhere, too, so... There's some spooky shit going on in this town. Um, nope, can't use that. Do I have anything in my truck that might do? Ah, lantern. Lantern. I got two of them. Hey, you know what? I have no idea if this is a good idea, but... Fuck it. Let's try and repair the uh, UFO. Like, I don't think that'll do anything, but it'll be neat to just try. Oh my god! I'm right! Oh my god! Here we go. An actual working UFO. Whoa, 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 whoa! It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Homemade flying software never ceases to <laughs> life never ceases to amaze me. What the fuck was that about? That's right, he threw something up here, didn't he? <laughs> I Huh. I'm Okay, cool. What? Why did I do that? <laughs> what was the purpose for that? Like, I've got smoke now. And that's like... That's something. And I got buckets. Hey, a ladder. Just scoot this over here. There you go. Lamoth here. Have your your top thing. Zack, can you think of a logical explanation for what just happened? Never mind. Life's more fun with the mysteries. Alright, so one thing that I gotta note is up here, there's a thing that I want. And I don't know how to get it. I wonder if I shoot it. So why did I do that? What purpose was that? I mean, it gave me access to this potato. Wait a second, this potato has a seam! Frickin' fake t potatoes. Uh, it made smoke. And... Did it, did it take my spark plug? No, good. I was worried. Wait a second. I thought I already attached the headlight. Well, it at least told me there's a step ladder up there. 
Not a lot of good can come of that, though. And there's the bike that that guy was talking about. But how the hell do you climb up? Like, if I had the stepladder, I could climb up and get the stepladder. Jump doesn't work. Uh, funnies might be right for the reasoning for it, but... I don't even have, like, an option to get up there, to get up that high. Hmm. Huh. Sheets of metal everywhere. Was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends? Or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? Gamma rays? Well... Yeah, wait a second, I had two headlights? How does that work? Alright, I'm starting to get cold. Let's go inside and warm up and try to rethink what we're doing with our lives. There we go, warm up right there. There is another pin in the map that's right there. And I'm trying to remember if I've explored that. Alright. Yeah, that's the cave. That's the caved-in cave. And I don't really see any other pins around here. So what... What's my next step? The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. You know what? I can't grab this ladder. I should be allowed to. I want it. Also, why would you put a wood ladder right next to the only thing that creates heat in your house? <sighs> Frustrated. Sorry. Hmm. So what are we missing, really? Right? We still need Sherry for the caravan. We still need a magnet, which, considering how crazy this guy is, I'm surprised he doesn't have magnets handy. I don't, I don't know where you'd go for magnets. Is there some place I haven't visited? Because he's nuts. Yeah, maybe. Cabin A. We've been to Cabin A and Cabin B. We've been to the shack at seem to remember that. General store, cave. Have we been to Roy's? We've been to Roy's. So this is pretty much the entire world, like right here. In, in screen, right? Including Roy's place. I actually am out of ideas. Who is that a picture of? Maybe Louise Blau, Louis Blouse, Louise Blouse, maybe Mary, Mary J, not Mary P. Hmm. 
No, none of their hair match. That's pretty much all I got to go on. I just realized he pulled his drawers out for me. That, now that's convenient. Rock collector. Hmm. Oh. Blue pencil. If some weird... daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. It didn't. Blueprints for weird spaceship. What is that? Can I get, can I pick that up? No? Shreds, Sherry, was there ever a time when I could get Sherry and didn't? I seem to remember Sherry being in this game. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. I'm not getting anything done here. Let's take one last look at the still, and then, you know what? I'm gonna go to Roy's, just to remind myself what I did there. Okay, we're on the road again. We have the world's worst rearview mirror, and we are ready to go. Is that in kilometers or miles, do you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is where we needed to go. Powers of this shit. Yep. Raggle, fraggle, what is the what the fuck is this? Gonna need you to be more specific. You're like maybe 20, 30 seconds behind me. Carl shivered as he saw the emblem. The Patriot flag, used during the 1837 rebellion and which had resurfaced in 1970s Quebec, flown proudly by the FLQ terrorist groups. This flag meant bombs, kidnappings, threats in the papers. It was a sign of rebellion. Huh. Empty bottle and wine. So this is where he cut his own hair and apparently kept little hair hickeys. 
because I don't know. Maybe Mary, the, the little girl, would visit every now and then, and he'd cut her hair. Murder, snow, aliens, ice breaking and entering. Kona. There's a lot to unpack in this game. There really is, like, quite a bit of stuff. It's dense with things. We've got communists. We've got... Oh, rebels. Oh, sorry. We got stills. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. I don't know. So, I don't have that sherry. You can't pick them all up. Let's head to Roy's. How much time do I have on this episode? Like 10-ish minutes? We can get to Roy's in 10-ish minutes. I like that what's on my radio is on their radio, which, like, yeah, it's easier to do that, and but it's a nice little touch. We're all listening to the strange, weird music that's playing on this radio station, like, constantly. I would love to know where the radio tower is for this. Sorry. It kind of reminds me of my summer car a little bit. Driving mechanics included. I could have swore I heard something behind me. Sorry, that, that was weird. Was, is there actually something behind me and I'm playing a video game so I don't dare turn around? Is that what's going on? Is it... Is it after me? Oh man, I'm getting tired. Just dodge around this tree. Okay, Royce should be the last house after the wreck. Or right before the wreck. Have I even been to... You know what? I may not have ever been to Roy's house. Maybe this is where I'll find the sherry and the magnet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this it? Uh, no, it's not. Just keep it going. What kind of crazy radio is this? Okay, this should be Roy's. And that's definitely his uh, house number. Wait, wait, wait. While we're at it, let's steal Roy's mail. Dear Mr. Roy, I'm writing this because I feel guilty. The other day, Martin and I were taking a stroll not far from your house, and we saw that the door to your shed was open. I wanted us to m mind our own business, but Martin likes living on the edge. He took a few shiny things, including some bullets. Now my dad always told me never to play with those things, so I immediately put them back. But Martin hid other things. 
I confess, Mr. Roy, I don't... I have so many regrets. But you must call... You mustn't call the police. You won't call them, will you? My father would be so angry. I will bring back all of your things, I promise. Marie Bedad. Well... Tale to Roy's. I certainly don't remember reading that note. Loading. Mary is what I guess you would call a good girl. Woo, we're up to 14% missing frames. Does this got some guy who's going to shoot at me if I open this door? There's your magnet, heh? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever been to the Roy's place. Wait a second. Yes, I have. We fled. It's getting too dangerous. Yeah, we've done this. This is like one of the first places we've been to. Why are the notes reset? The fantasy. Yeah, we've we've read this. And we stole all this wood. What the hell is happening? I mean, this give me a reason to start rummaging through their shit again. see any sherry. Some garlic. Some tuna, which I can't grab. Flowers. No, I don't know why there would be wine in the sink, but fuck it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, this, uh, this right here leads to this side room. Yeah. Hey. How did they get the, uh, couch to match the wallpaper? Also, how did they get the couch in here? So... So this isn't really helping us. Except that we're using these guys' electricity a lot. Maybe I missed something is the hope. But I'm going through here and I don't... Ooh, Canopoli. I don't see... All manners of clothing were gone. As if the Rois drove out of town with their closet in tow. I don't really see anything. Said he had a shack. Whoop, uh, that's a tree. I don't see the shack. See some logging being done here. So nothing in the Roy. Yeah, you think the girl has the magnet? Well, maybe. So I guess while we're going down memory lane, we might as well head all the way back to where this thing broke the bridge. The good doctor, um, he broke the bridge 
by crashing into it, so... There we go. Okay, so that explains how Martin got a hold of a flare gun that he stole, clearly. Uh, we are at an hour. So... Good pause there. Do I know how to turn off these windshield wipers? Hmm. Maybe I don't. Okay, this, this is going on a lot further than I thought it would. So why don't we make a quick cut here and keep going because I, I maybe I'll think of something maybe as we go through everything again one second time in either case I need to put a cut here I also need to use the restroom but I will be back. I promise.